Hey guys, welcome to Barry's Best Second Live YouTube broadcast. And I don't know about you, but I am super excited for tonight. I'm out of breath. I was just running up the stairs, thanks to Tyler. <laughs> um, but I'm super excited for tonight. Tyler is stepping out of his comfort zone big time, and I think he learned um, that he has to do that at reunion in order to grow. So he offered to do a call about um, recruiting and talking to men and selling to men. And I know a lot of us have had that question, but there's three things that I want to um, talk about really quick. So um, I posted on various best today, but I just want to tell you guys, I'm so proud of you for stepping out of your box and um, going for those events and those fundraisers. It seems like the page is blown up with people saying that they booked fundraisers or events and I've gotten tons of messages and those are definitely ways for you guys to earn this trip. So those are huge. Congratulations on that and keep shooting for those because they're great for PRV. They're great to meet new customers and it's good to give back and it, events are fun. They're tiring, but as you all saw from my event this weekend, um, they're definitely worth it. So um, I also want to talk to you guys about um, how August is a little bit slow. So I've seen that a few of you guys are getting a little bit um, down this month and that's normal. Again, um, the summer months are kind of slow and then August of course is 10% off which it helps for sales but there um, are a lot of people waiting for the fall and winter stuff. So, of course, our sales are going to be a little bit slower this month than normal, but don't get down. Keep pushing. Keep pushing the discontinuing product and um, just get excited about the fall winter because there's some huge, huge, huge stuff coming in fall winter. I don't think you guys understand how big our fall and winter sales season is. Um, some months in fall and winter, I do $5,000 PRV because people are buying gifts for everybody in their family. So don't get down. It's August. August is already almost halfway over. Just push through and just wait till September 1st and we're all going to be great. So um, third thing, I just want to remind you guys, I'm pretty sure I have this chat box pulled up over on the right. I am pretty sure that I can chat with you guys without having the video pulled up. So if you guys have any questions during this call or have anything that you want to point out, I'll be watching the chat box and relaying the stuff to Tyler at the end of the call. So um, just be sure to um, be typing in there. And then if the, nothing pops up, I'll definitely check the actual YouTube video to see if there's anything there. Pretty sure this chat box is for all of the YouTube videos, but not sure. So still learning here. Anyway, I'm going to hand it over to Tyler. Thank you so much for doing this call, by the way. It feels good that I didn't have to prepare anything tonight, and I'm looking forward to what you have to say. I've got my uh, pen and paper ready, so I'm going to hand it over to you. All righty. Well, uh, a little bit about me before I start. My name is Tyler Brown. Uh, I have been with Cincy now for two years and 10 days. Um, I started because I uh, my sponsor, I bought from her once and she never let me go and it sparked an interest in me and here I am now. Uh, so tonight I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks to help you sell to men and also help recruit men on your team. So the first point, we're going to talk about selling first and then we'll go into recruiting second. Um, the first point about selling is you need to know your customers. When you're selling to men, you need to know things like their interests. You need to know what they like to do. First off, do they like candles? That is kind of the basis where you have to start. And being a college guy and having lived in apartments with other guys, I can tell you right now, there are candles constantly because nothing will help cover up a smell quite like a candle does until Scentsy comes along. So most people, will have candles in their house. Um, so you need to present the benefits of the warmer to the men. Men love to save money because their girlfriends or wives like to spend it all. So if men can save money in the long run, you have already sparked an interest in them. So um, I don't have the graphic with me right now, but I believe it's out there somewhere where Scentsy warmers and waxes are compared to uh, things like Yankee candles. Um, 
keep up. You should always keep that handy, whether you're selling to women, men, children, whoever. Um, I don't know why you would sell children, but that always saving money will always help you sell to men because like I said, men like to save money. Now on the rare occasion that you um, ask a man, Hey, I sell Scentsy. Are you interested in buying? And they say, no, that's not really for me. I don't do candles. This is where you kind of have to get creative and take other avenues. And luckily Scentsy has given us these other avenues. Um, so if someone says no, present other products that we have to them. Things like the laundry care products, you know, even though men don't like to do it, we do wash our clothes. Um, I use the laundry products every single time and I have extremely sensitive skin. Um, it's to the point where until I was almost 21 years old, I had to use a certain kind of detergent because anything else I used, I would break out in. Um, so when I started selling Scentsy and I saw these washer whiffs, so I was like, I can't use these. This is useless. Um, but I've used them for years now. Well, two years now, and I've never had a problem with them. Um, and another thing that's really going to help you is the new skincare products for men. Um, the shampoo, shower, and shave bar, I have to say, is probably one of my favorite new things in the entire catalog simply because of its convenience. It's three in one. And for guys, that is something that we look for when we buy products. I don't want to go to the store and have to spend $50 on three different things that one thing can do it all. So this shampoo, shower, and save and shave bar is a really good tool that you can use to help market to men. And if you have someone that, let's say, has never tried Scentsy before, but they don't like candles, this is where I would start. I would start trying to advertise the shampoo, shower, and shave bar. And I hope I'm saying that right. I haven't looked at the catalog in a while, but um, that is going to be something that definitely will help you. And if you get a male customer to buy from you, make sure you stick with them because if a male customer buys for themselves without any influence from their significant other, their girlfriend, their wife, whatever, chances are they already have a peaked interest and you don't want to lose that interest. Um, following up with finding their interests, um, guys like to go to the gym. So you have these so-called gym rats. So for that, you can't really take a warmer to the gym. You can't put a warmer in your car. You can't put a warmer in the locker room. So this is where you have to advertise the smaller products that will travel. Um, so all guys, if they go to the gym, well, I don't want to say all guys, but nine out of 10 guys that go to the gym will carry a gym bag with them. And a lot of times, speaking from personal experience, guys will wear the same clothes to the gym three days in a row without washing them. Sorry if that grosses anyone out. It's a fact. Scent packs for gym bags are, are really handy. I've used them before. They're great. They keep, they keep the bag from smelling like sweat for days and weeks to come. And they also keep your clothes from smelling extremely badly. Um, and then at gyms, there are lockers where guys can store their things. Uh, scent circles that can hang in the lockers are great. You can also hang scent packs in the lockers. Just a pin. Um, and then sometimes when guys leave the gym, they don't like to go take showers. They like to go home and take showers and not take them at the gym. So a room spray for a car to use after the gym is great because they can spray a couple sprays in their back seat. You know, don't spray anything in the front seat. I never spray anything in the front seat simply because um, I know that you're not supposed to spray it on any hard surfaces in the car. So if you have cloth seats sprayed on the seats, it's not a big deal. If you have, you know, floor mats on, in your back seat, spray it on the floor mats. Uh, or even you can spray it on the floor mats in the front seat and turn on your feet vents and it'll blow the scent right up. Um, done that before. Works great. Um, sometimes uh, if men like candles, they'll tell you, well, I only do it for a couple hours a day. I, I don't really need it. I don't really need a warmer that uh, I can forget about or that I'm only going to use for a little bit of time and not really be able to smell it. This is where you need to emphasize the cost again. Um, because like I said earlier, men love to save money. So emphasizing the cost that buying a small 
nightlight warmer for 20 bucks and one bar for five dollars can save you so much money in the long run and if guys only use one cube in their nightlight warmers that could last them for two or three months and yeah you might only get one purchase every two or three months but you have that male customer in your pocket you don't want to let go of that um, and again uh, you can leave the warmers on I leave all of mine on 24 7 I never turn them off so if they say well I don't want to forget to turn it off not a big deal you know I always tell people that lamps use a higher wattage bulb than Scentsy warmers do yet people will leave lights on all day long um, so that's an, another thing you can emphasize and since he's safe around pets um, a lot of guys you know have a pet man's best friend um, so I know my dogs before have gotten into wax with their tails um, it's not fun but they didn't get burned they didn't die so uh, emphasizing especially to single men bachelors per se um, emphasizing that since he is safe around pets uh, can really really help you sell to male customers uh, and this this next quote is actually something I've heard from more men that I've attempted to sell to than anything and luckily with the new catalog there are a few solutions to this I have a lot of men that say I like the smell of the fire burning that is the one quote that I hear more than anything is that men like to smell the fire when they're burning a candle so this is where knowing your product comes in handy if you have a guy that tells you I want to smell fire when I'm burning a candle let them know that we have scents that can mimic that doesn't matter what warmer they get but you have to know the scents that we have uh, and I wrote down a few um, that I could think of off the top of my head uh, bonfire beach is the first one that comes to my mind um, it's got that smoky smell to it. So if, if a guy says they want to smell the fire, Bonfire Beach is the first thing that I suggest to them because of the smoky uh, scent notes that it's got in it. Um, another one, uh, I believe it's it's either one of our fall and winter or holiday scents, uh, Cozy Fireside, um, kind of self-explanatory in the name. Um, it also has that kind of smoky smell to it. Um, and one that I thought could be a little bit of a stretch um, but still I think you can get the essence from it is autumn blaze maple um, a lot of people say it smells like syrup but I think if you if you pay close attention when you're smelling autumn blaze maple I think it also kind of has like that fire undertone to it um, and I can't stress this enough that when you're selling to people like this you have to know your product you can't just say oh we have warmers and wax here take a look men don't want to look through things men want instant gratification they want something where you can tell them what's good and they'll try it out they don't want to have to sit there and look through a 60 page catalog to try to find something that they like they want you to say here this is manly and this is a manly warmer want to try it out you're done yes that's all it takes to sell to men really um, and obviously we have our sensing man line but sometimes those scents aren't enough and I can tell you from personal experience, I am not a huge fan of the Scentsy Man line. I think that of the five scents upcoming in the current in the new catalog, um, I think four out of the five of them smell like cologne. I don't want my room, my bedroom, my house, my bathroom, anything. I don't want it to smell like cologne. I want my clothes to smell like cologne when I go out. So this is where knowing your scents will come in handy, because. Yes, while those Scentsy Man scents smell like a man, they don't necessarily smell for a man. Women like the smell of men's cologne, but a lot of times a man is not going to want to smell a men's cologne scent. Um, luckily, we have Bonfire Beach in the man scents now. Uh, and it's funny, I remember when, when we were in Vegas and we were all looking through the new catalog, I saw Bonfire Beach in the Scentsy Man line and the only thing I could think was what the hell because I'd never thought of Bonfire Beach as a man scent and I actually went to a family reunion the day after I got back from Vegas and I took some testers with me because my aunts love me to bring Scentsy testers to family reunions and family functions because they always love to sit there and smell everything and they hadn't actually smelled the new releases from the current catalog yet which is what Bonfire Beach is in and it just happened to be the very first one that one of my aunts grabbed. She smelled it, and her first words were, 
oh my gosh, this smells just like a man. And I thought, okay, well, they did something right because I had never thought of Bonfire Beach as a man scent. Um, so that is my, that's my suggestion for um, finding and finding the interests of men. Um, there are a couple other points that I want to make. Actually, there's a lot more points. There's more than just a couple I lied. Um, so, uh, like I said, men love to save money and Scentsy makes great gifts for your mom, your girlfriend, grandmother, aunts, sisters, cousins, daughters, whatever. Scentsy makes a great gift idea. Um, women love to smell nice. Women love to go out and be presentable. Um, you know, they want to smell good. Um, so, uh, for Mother's Day, um, something you, you could suggest to men in your life is buy a skin product for that special mother in, or grandmother in your life. Um, the skincare products are a little more expensive compared to just the uh, Scentsy bars. And sometimes men like to get a little bit nicer things. Um, and I actually just got my reunion kit um, today. I had somebody pick it up for me while I was on vacation and I just picked it up today. And I have to say that I'm super impressed with the velvet hand cream and the, uh, the fine fragrance roller. I didn't really expect them to smell all that well and they both smell fantastic. And confession number one, I put the hand cream on before this conference call. So I used the women's hand cream and it's awesome. Um, and another thing, uh, like I said, the night lights, the night light warmers and a Scentsy bar, that's a $25 gift that can be delivered right to someone's front door they never have to leave their house a lot of men hate shopping i hate shopping i never want to leave my house i shop online for everything so if i know that i can go to someone's website order directly from there have it delivered to me and not have to get up off of my tv other than to go to the fridge for a beer and to get up to say yes netflix i'm still watching this show i'm okay with that um these kind of gifts can lead to new customers and like I said earlier, once you get new customers, you need to keep them in your grip and do not let go. It's like holding onto a rope so that you don't fall into raging waters. Because if men buy this without any influence, chances are you're going to have them forever. Uh, and in some cases, you might actually be able to sign them under you like Andrea did for me. So I'm going to take a quick drink of water because I'm parched. Um, Another thing, and a lot of this I'm, I'm drawing from um, personal experiences and the people that I know. Um, I'm 24. I'm going into my seventh year up at West Virginia University. So I've been around college kids for a long time. And I know what it's like to go to college apartments, dorms, houses, whatever. They smell terribly. Okay, if, especially if you have like three or four guys living there. It smells awful. Um, things like room sprays can be quick fixes for if you have company coming over. If say you have a house that four guys live in and they're wanting to have uh, some people over, but they don't have enough time to clean. If they have a room spray and I've done this before, if you just spray that like 10 minutes before everyone comes over, people walk in and they're like, Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. What do you have? And I'm like, it's just a room spray. Uh, and then that piques people's interest because they're like, wow, it's just a spray and it smells this good. They don't know that I just did it 10 minutes before they showed up, but they don't have to. Um, also, Scentsy makes great gifts for Father's Day. Now, this isn't so much about selling to men as it is. This point isn't selling to men as it is selling to women for men. Um, these are um, uh, some warmers I had gone through the catalog last night. Um, and I had written down some warmers that I thought were manly um, or uh, something that uh, a father, grandfather might like. So if you guys have a catalog handy uh, and you want to grab it, uh, go for it. Or if you have pen and paper, want to write it down. If you want to type it on your laptop, computer, however you want to do it. Um, I'm going to give you some ideas from, yeah, look, Caitlin's ready. I'm going to give you some ideas just from a male point of view of things that if I wasn't a consultant and I was going to have somebody buy this for me, what I would like. Um, some of these are from the new fall and winter catalog. So if you don't have one of those and you don't recognize the name, 
don't worry you will you will see it eventually um, so some of the warmers are hardwood uh, classic black metalworks wrangler the ranger wrap with either the etched core or the travertine core river birch aspen grove black elm wrap mossy oak not the pink one service and sacrifice yukon and the parlor warmer um one thing that i actually really think can be helpful in this new catalog um as soon as i get to it this the be natural page i think is really really good for selling towards men because a lot of these um are more i would i don't want to say that they're super manly but they are definitely more manly than the warmer with all the page with all the pink warmers on it um so make notes of these pages in the new catalog there are pages 12 and 13. Uh, if you ever need quick tips on how to sell to men and you're trying to sell them a warmer flip to these two pages guaranteed they will find something on here like and if not i will send you a voucher for the 30 seconds of your life that you wasted trying to get somebody to buy one of those warmers um continuing on with the warmers there's a warmer for every man there's a warmer for every person in this catalog um, one thing I think is really cool to do um, for those of you that did your list of 100 another question I didn't do that when I first started and I just did it a few months ago I know oops going through that list of 100 think of each person on that list when you get to their name think what warmer in this catalog fits their personality that's the easiest way that you can try to sell someone if you know them well enough that you can find a warmer that fits their personality you can make an easy sell and this is where you have to know your market you have to know the people that you're selling to it's more than just knowing your products now I'm not saying if you have a one-time customer that you have no idea who they are and they just happen to find your website you don't need to try to go through and find a warmer for them but on this list of 100 um, if, if you have women on that list think of the men in their life and think what kind of personality does that male have what kind of warmer or what kind of product would that male like um, so I wrote down five different categories uh, and I'm just going to go through and I've written down uh, two to three warmers for each category um, that I think would be really good um, obviously the most obvious is sports fans most guys love sports and luckily we now have the campus collection nightlight warmers which are going to be i feel a humongous hit because they're only 25 dollars they're only five dollars more than a regular nightlight this will be an easy seller to men men love sports men love everything to do with their sports teams trust me i have i used to have toothbrushes with my favorite sports teams men are fanatics about their favorite sports teams so the MLB warmers and the campus collection warmers if you know somebody that is a fan of those teams or those colleges don't let them slip away you have to ask them or not ask them but you need to try to let them know be like hey I know that you're a huge fan of West Virginia University we have these really awesome West Virginia warmers would you be interested in them um, another category are the travelers um, there are some men um, that love to travel um, they take trips every year with their wives or they just go by themselves um, so a few warmers for that category I uh, had the Paris warmer uh, the Moroccan stencil warmer and the Bali warmer um, not every man is going to be a sports fan that's just the way it is it happens and it's nothing wrong with that that's why I feel like there's a warmer for every person in this catalog um, then you have your super patriots and this is where you try to sell the Lone Star Warmer and the Service and Sacrifice Warmer. Um, and this isn't just for men either. This is also for women. And people love their country, as they should. Um, this is an easy seller, especially around Independence Day, uh, Veterans Day, Memorial Day, holidays like that. Um, and even those months would be a 
good month to do fundraisers. You know, do a fundraiser during October. That way, when you get your commission in November, you can donate it to a fund for Veterans Day. Do something, do a fundraiser in June. That way, when Independence Day rolls around, you can donate it to something. Um, I've, I've actually seen quite, quite a few people do fundraisers for the uh, Wounded Warriors Foundation after the service and sacrifice uh, cause warmer uh, was no longer the cause warmer. And there's nothing wrong with that. You, you know, fundraisers are huge and they're great to do. Uh, they help boost your PRV um, and they help, they help you reach out to people that you might not usually reach. Um, then a fourth category is uh, the religious category. Um, this is where warmers like antique cross and charity could come into play. Um, you know, your pastors at church, people at your church, Offer to do a fundraiser for your church where you just sell these two warmers and a few cents, you know, especially if people haven't heard of Cincy before and, you know, you don't want to have to fool with them going through the entire catalog and you just want to make it simple for them. This is a great fundraiser you could do for a church. Sell those two warmers and all your cents. Um, the last category I had was the organic category. And these are the people that just let life go with the flow. They don't worry about anything. They just like to be calm, peaceful all the time. Uh, the two warmers I had written down were Zen Rock and Rock Balance, the new Rock Balance warmer. Um, I'm not really sure why Rock is associated with like peacefulness and calm, but it is. Um, so those are the five categories I had written down. If you guys have any other categories that you could think of or you have any other suggestions, just type them in the chat box right over here. And uh, Caitlin will make notes of that for me. Uh, and then at the end of the call, we can we can talk about those. Um, just like there's a warmer for every man, there's a scent for every man. Uh, men are obsessed with their cars. Men. <laughs> sorry, Caitlin. Sometimes men will take care of their cars more than they will take care of their wives. Um, men want to keep their car smelling fresh. Weathered leather is where this is a huge hit. I know that some of you women really don't like the weathered leather, but I have to say, I absolutely love it. I warm it sometimes. It's great. Um, a lot of men like outdoor smells. Um, and actually two of the new releases, uh, in the fall and winter catalog, um, Highway Run and Woodland Suede. I think that those are both very well crafted outdoor smells because especially woodland suede, that has to be one of my new favorites. I think it is a manly scent without being a cologne scent. And that personally is what I look for when I'm trying to find a scent that fits me. I want something that smells manly, but doesn't smell like cologne. Um, Highway Run and Woodland Suede do a very good job at that. And also very snowy spruce um, for guys that like the outdoors and pines. Um, obviously, in addition to ice pine and winter pine, um, those are three very good scents that can help that will uh, be easy to sell to men. Um, and whether or not they want to admit it, men are emotional. Men have feelings. Men have hearts. So smells that evoke memories are oftentimes good ways to sell to men also, in addition to selling to women. Um, you know, if you have someone that always talks about their memories from grandma's house when they were little, um, things like cider mill and everything nice were re are really good smells that a lot of people have experienced. You know, me personally growing up around th Thanksgiving, my grandma would always uh, during dinner, she would have a pot of cloves boiling and she would put clementines in them. So when clementine clove came out as a scent, you can only imagine the memories that came back to me because it reminded me of every Thanksgiving dinner that I've ever been to. Um, really sad that that's not coming back this year, but we won't get onto that. Um, again, the laundry products are a really good way to sell toward men. Um, Washer whiffs are my personal favorite laundry product. Um, I haven't tried the new clothing conditioner yet, um, but from everything that I've read about it, people seem to absolutely love it. So I'm really excited to try that. But speaking from personal experience, 
I can let you know that washer whiffs will help reduce the smell of mildew if you forget that you put clothes in the washer and three days later you go to put more clothes in the washer and you realize what you did. Um, it doesn't eliminate it completely, but my clothes did not smell. I only had to rewash them one time with cold water and I didn't add any new washer whiffs after that. And after I rewashed them the second time, they still smelled like I use ocean a lot. So they still smelled like ocean. Um, and again, laundry products are great because men like their clothes to smell good. Um, men don't really, you don't really want they're, you don't really want clothes to smell bad when you take them out of the washer or dryer, whether you're a man or a woman. Um, so the laundry products, if men don't like the warmers and wax, are a really good way to uh, get male customers. The last thing, well, one of the last things I want to talk about as far as selling to men uh, is the VIP program. Now, um, for those of you who don't know what the VIP program is or haven't read about it yet, uh, one of the options for the VIP program is the Laundry Love Bundle, uh, which is a bottle of laundry liquid, washer whiffs, and dryer discs. Um, this could be a very good and easy selling point to male college students that live in dorms or apartment complexes or houses even, because they'll never have to leave their house to go buy laundry stuff. Um, they'll never have to get up off the couch and stop watching Netflix so that they have to go to the store because they're out of laundry detergent. If they can have it delivered to them once a month, the convenience factor alone would probably be enough to sell that to them. Um, and the very last thing is the diffusers. Um, to be honest, I'm not really sure how the diffusers are going to do yet with men. Um, I haven't really had, uh, I haven't had a huge response from the diffusers um, like some people have, um, but all of the responses I have gotten have been from women. I've had no responses about the diffusers from men yet, um, and I haven't really tried to sell the diffusers to men yet either. Um, so maybe they will do well, maybe they won't. I'm not really sure, but I'm hoping that um, eventually they will do well. So that is all that I have in terms of selling to men. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions, type them in the chat box and at the end of the call, we'll go through them. Um, so now I'm gonna talk about trying to recruit men onto your team. Um, this talk will be a little bit shorter, um, but these if you are really, really interested in trying to recruit more men on your team, get your pen and paper ready because I personally, I think that these are really good points that are really going to help you if you're trying to do that. Um, it is very tricky. I won't lie and I won't sugarcoat it and say that it's super easy to recruit men. Um, and like I've said a few times in the call already, if you get a male customer, follow up with them. That is why I'm a consultant today. I'm a Sensi consultant because my former consultant before I signed up to be a consultant myself, followed up with me. Um, I ordered from uh, my sponsor is Andre Edwards. Um, I ordered from her once, I believe it was in a May. Um, and every month she followed up with me. Um, and I would, you know, I was her friend on Facebook and she always said, you know, here's what's coming up this month. Are you interested in more? And it only took three months for me to go from a customer to a consultant. Um, do everything you can to, to ensure that they order it again. Um, even if this means giving them a free bar or sending them a scent circle in the mail every month, you know, uh, I know some of you put the uh, warmer of the month flyers in the mail every single month. Uh, if you're sending it to a mail, throw in a scent circle. That'll help keep their car smelling fresh. Like I said, men love their cars. If their car smells good because of you, they will feel indebted to you and they will buy from you and it's the circle of life. Um, and if men buy for themselves, chances are that their interest is peaked. I've said that before. If a man, if a man does not have influence from anyone else to buy Sensi products, his level of interest is already that much higher than a woman's. Um, another good point is let men know that they can sell with their wives. I believe Caitlin is in the process right now of trying to convince Brandon to, to sell something. Um, and when we were at Vegas, this was actually something that I didn't know when we were at Vegas, I didn't know that, uh, 
men and women could sell as a team. Uh, there were husbands and wives that were at superstar director status and, and they sell together. I had no idea you could do that. Um, so that's another really good point that you could bring up. Um, third point is men love money. Men love money so they can do what they want. Um, if, if a man sells by himself, um, chances are he is probably looking to spend that money on himself. So if a male sells under you, um, let them know that it's, it's, it's extra spending money for them to do what they like to do. You know, if they like to go to a shooting range, that's money that can pay for that. If they like to go to the driving range, that's money that can pay for that. You know, if they like to go uh, have dinner with some old high school or college friends once a month, that's money that can pay for that. And they don't have to worry about taking money out of their, you know, everyday job uh, to pay for that stuff. Um, it could also be extra money for a very nice anniversary dinner or birthday dinner for that special woman in their life. Um, so let them know, you know, this is an opportunity for you to have extra money and you don't have to do anything. It's not like you have to report somewhere, clock in and clock out every day. You can do this at your convenience. The best thing about being a Sensi consultant is the flexibility. You don't have to worry about you are your own boss. You don't have to worry about checking in with someone. And if you want to take a month off, by all means, do it. I've done it before. I've just had months where I need a break. I just take a break. And it's totally great because nothing negative came from it. I didn't get fired. Uh, nobody yelled at me. Uh, so that's, that's a really good selling point is because men love flexibility as well as, as money. So if they can have both of those, that's a huge selling point. Um, since he's an easy job for college students and I've actually seen pictures on Facebook floating around uh, the past couple weeks about selling to college kids and I love it. It's great because nowadays kids aren't using pen and paper in the classroom. Kids are, people take their laptops to class or they have, you know, iPads that they take notes on. I've even seen people type notes in the notes app on their iPhone how they do that, I have no idea, um, but I've seen people do it. And another confession, when I'm on my laptop in class, I'm usually on Facebook. So using Facebook as our main marketing tool um, for Sensi, essentially, if you think about it, we're getting paid to be on Facebook, okay? I, me personally, I use Sensi, or I use Facebook as 99% of my advertisements for Sensi. Um, I don't really use any other outlets. I don't use Twitter that much. I might use Instagram like once or twice a month. Um, I just recently started using Pinterest, but I'm still super confused on how it works. So I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to use other venues, but college kids always end up on Facebook somehow. So if they're a Sensi consultant and uh, you and you can convince them that they can be paid by being on Facebook, that is a huge win-win and it's a good job for college students because they don't have to leave their house. They can, you know, it's not like they have to go to class and then come home and get ready and go to work somewhere. They can go to class. They can advertise while they're in class on Facebook. Then they can come home and not have to worry about going somewhere for a job. If they have a, a party that they're doing that night, then that's great. You don't have to, you know, really prepare for a party besides your spiel about the catalog. So it's not like it's strenuous work. You don't have to work a minimum number of hours per week uh, to keep the job. And like I said, um, extra money for college students is humongous. I can tell you right now, any bit of extra money I get is awesome. I love it. Um, as will any other college student that you sign. Um, and another good thing is that men can advertise the products while doing what they like. You know, if a man had um, a couple campus collection warmers and some MLB warmers, if he invites his buddies over for uh, the baseball game, or the football game, whatever, then you have your products around you. You have your MLB warmer on one shelf and you have your campus collection warmer somewhere else. And if, you know, people walk in and it smells good, they're, a lot of times they're gonna ask, what is that? And if they don't know, that's a good way to uh, to get selling to people. 
Sorry, I need more water. Um, oh, I totally forgot I wrote this down. Um, if men sell, it's extra money for them to buy UFC fights so they can watch Ronda Rousey. I've seen so many guys freaking out over Ronda Rousey the past two, three weeks, however long it's been since she's fought. If men sell Cincy, they have the money and they can buy the Ronda Rousey fight at their own house and they don't have to go somewhere to watch it. They didn't have to go get an extra job to pay for it. The money came right to them and they didn't have to leave their couch. Oh, I can't believe I forgot that. Um, so yeah, men will have money to see Ronda Rousey fight. Um, and the last point that I have on my list is probably, um, I don't want to say it's the most chauvinistic, but I'm going to put down men for a second. You have to stroke a man's ego. Men love their ego. Men are all about themselves. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. I try not to be, but I know I catch myself some, sometimes and I'm guilty of it. A, there's a very small number of male consultants. Um, when we were in Vegas, um, and I know that was just a very small portion of all total consultants, but it felt like for every 25 female consultants we saw, there was one male consultant. And if men think that they can be the top dog alpha male of all the men that are in the company, that's something that they'll want to work towards. It's just, it's just in a man's ego. Sometimes men like to be at the top. Men like to be number one. So if you can find a male that really wants to go far in this, he'll push himself to do it. Um, the potential for growth in this company is about to increase drastically starting on September 1st. Once the new um, groom line is launched, I feel like men will, the uh, number of male customers and male consultants will probably increase also, I'm hoping. Um, if it does, then I hope that you all are one of the people that have been able to sign a male to your, to your team. Um, because like I said, it's not easy to do. So when you're able to do it, I applaud you. Um, I, I know that a lot of you have had questions in the past saying that you have trouble recruiting to men or recruiting men. You have trouble selling to men. Um, so I hope that this call has helped you out a little bit. Um, I know I probably rambled at some points and stumbled over my words. So if anything was messed up and you need clarification, please feel free to message me and I will clarify whatever I need to. Um, and the last thing I want to say um, to help try to recruit men and help sell to men is let them know that they can take advantage of the opportunity to succeed quickly without really trying. Because when I first started, I thought that this was going to be extremely strenuous. I remember my mom actually told me not to do it. She said, there's no way that you're going to be able to do this while you're in dental school. You don't have time for a job anyway. How are you going to be able to do this? And I said, forget it. I'm going for it. I don't care. If it works, great. If not, no harm done. Uh, luckily, it's worked for me, and I could not be happier uh, today than, you know, two years ago. I never imagined that I would have been able to go to Vegas. I never imagined that I would be doing this, of all things. I absolutely hate speaking. So now I've spoken for almost 45 minutes, which is mind-boggling to me because I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. So uh, that's all I have. Uh, like I said, I hope that this has helped you guys. Uh, and if you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message, an email. Add me on Facebook if you want. Um, starting in September, I'm really going to try to advertise, um, specifically targeting men at least once a week uh, starting in September. So please feel free to add me on Facebook. Um, whatever pictures I put up, whatever posts I put up, you are more than welcome to copy and paste them exactly. Um, just put your website in, not mine. Um, that's all I have. You did a good job. And I just noticed last night when you changed your profile picture, it was more geared towards men. I liked that profile picture. I, no, I actually, I actually took that from, uh, Heather Thompson in Kim's Whip Kickers. I yeah, saw I thought, that is a manly looking picture. It's a manly landscape. 
It's a manly scent. It's a manly warmer. Yeah. That's me. Yeah, for sure. But you said so many good things tonight. So I'm just going to go over a few things that I wrote down. So for one, I learned so much about a man's thought process through this video. <laughs> Thanks. Now I'm going to know what my husband's thinking and feeling. So I'm going to go in there and uh, yell at him a little bit and blame it on you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So one of the most important things that you said was um, knowing your product and knowing your market of people. So those are huge. Um, I loved how you talked about um, the list of 100 reference to the um, to filling someone's personality that's a genius I never thought about it um that way but I actually I was gonna say I sold a parlor warmer to a man this weekend at the event he came up to me and he said you have that cool looking Edison bulb warmer and I was like yeah have you seen it before and he's like yeah I saw it on Facebook that thing was really cool so I got it out and showed it to me he's like I'm sold I I need it in my life. And I was like, okay. So that was the first time I'd ever been approached by a man to buy something. But the parlor warmer is definitely awesome for men. And just getting the smell, like I always say, if you, if they can smell it, you can sell it. Getting um, fragrances in people's faces and under their nose, it's so much easier to sell things. Um, the, t uh, the five types of guys, I love that. Um, in the comments, we have only had a few comments, but um, they said stuff about outdoorsmen, uh, hardwood, Yukon, uh, river birch, mossy oak. But I loved somebody said category of men, the geeks. Sorry, couldn't think of a better name for them. So I wrote the, I wrote the geeks and the nerds. And um, I thought parlor or the LED changing collection would be perfect for geeks and nerds because those are pretty high tech warmers. Those are pretty awesome. And also, um, Quill warmer, the new quill warmer for uh, history. Yeah. yeah, for history buffs. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Um, I love the point that you made about the limited fundraisers. So, like, you know, um, one of the girls in our group is doing the Wounded Warriors fundraiser this month, and she's limiting it to a list of bars and the service and sacrifice warmer, which I thought was genius. But I loved the idea about churches as well, which I'd never thought of. Um, approaching your church about doing a fundraiser with the uh with the cross warmers and a few of the bars would be so easy and so just easy for anybody to do and awesome to give money back so that was a good idea um when you said that mem uh, fragrances evoke memories that was another thing that tipped me off i had a um male customer one time and he loved lucky in love because it reminded him of his girlfriend so huh not always the men scents that are going to attract the men. There's girly scents that attract men too. I remember when, um, what was it? Surfer chick retired. I had men literally almost in tears because surfer chick was going out and that was like the most female smelling scent that we had when I first started. So you never know what men are going to like. Another thing I had written down that I'd never thought of before approach places, um, where more, where men shop more often. So, if you go to put a satellite warmer in a store, we usually go for female driven stores. Why do we just do that? So like nail salons, spas. Um, I put one in my, my groomers uh, business today. Um, hairdressers, like we go for the more female driven stores. Why don't we hit up a Harley shop, a used car dealership? There are so many places that men are more likely to go shop in that we have not even touched that market. So that was something that I thought of. I don't remember what you said that tipped me off to that, but that's a market that none of us has touched yet. So I don't know any Harley store that would say no to a, um, to a free warmer and that's yeah. a tax right off. So go to your Harley store, go to your used car dealership and push the car packs, go to the Harley store, give them a warmer and give them some sense. And with your business cards, people are not going to say no to free. So that was another thing that I thought of. Um, and make barbershops. Huh? And barbershops. Oh yeah. That's a good idea too. Yeah. Um, I can think of so many retired warmers that we have now that would be amazing for, those purposes that we don't have anymore, but 
not going to cry now, but you did such a good job. Um, I want to thank you for being on the call. I took a lot, like a whole notebook full of notes. I thought this was awesome and, um, you did great. Thank you so much. But guys, um, tune in next Tuesday, same time, same place. Um, pretty sure it's still going to be on YouTube, but if not, I'll let you guys know through an email. I don't know what we're talking about yet, and I don't know who our speaker is. So if you guys have any suggestions of what you want to talk about, hear about, chat about, whatever you want, please post them on Barry's Best so that I have ideas for topics and speakers for next week because I'm kind of running out of ideas. So we need to get some ideas flowing. So let me know for next Tuesday so I can start planning as soon as possible. But Tyler, thank you so much. This was great. And I can't wait to share this link with everybody and um, everyone that I know because everybody's always asking, how do I recruit and sell the men? So I'm going to be blasting this video everywhere. But thank you so much for doing this. And we will see you guys same time, same place next Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in. I love you all. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>